Hi everyone! Art Shape Stationery are the current trend and today I'm going to show you how I created these welcome cards. So firstly I have already got my artboard which is 5 by 7 inches. This is the size of a standard invitation. I select an eclipse by clicking on the rectangle tool in the left side menu and selecting eclipse. Now holding down the shift key and dragging the mouse I draw a perfect circle. Next I click on the shape up here and change the circle dimensions to 5 to match the artboard. I move the circle into place making sure it is centered at the top of the artboard. Now I go back to the left hand side menu and select the rectangle tool and draw a quick square. I go back up to the shape dimensions and change the width only to 5 inches to match my artboard. The length will be adjusted a little bit later. Using my smart guides I adjust the top of the square to the artboard making sure that the top edge is aligned with the middle of the circle. Now using my mouse I select the little square box and move the line down to the edge of the artboard. I select everything and move it across so you guys can see what I'm doing. So as you can see a square and a circle make up my arch and now I select both shapes, come down to the Pathfinder which can also be found under Window, Pathfinder and click on Unite. Now I have my art shape and I will change the colour fill so you can see it better. From here you can go ahead and start creating your designs. So I've completed my design and it is a custom design for a client so I can't show you every detail but I converted the image into a single line path and if you want to know how to do that I will leave a link in the description to a previous video tutorial. In relation to the text they were hand drawn using the iPad and iPad pencil but you can also use the pen tool. I save this file as an SVG and then log into Cricut Design Space. In Design Space, I upload my SVG. In this screen, I will leave the art shape as cut and I will change the other elements to draw. This will make sure that the Cricut will foil those elements instead of cut. Then I select all the layers and select Attach. And then I click Make It. I add my cardstock to the standard grip mat. The cardstock I'm using is 300 GSM or 110 pounds. I add the pre-cut foil and washi tape to keep it in place. I will leave a link in the description to the materials used. At the Cricut I am putting in the medium sized foil quill nib and it has been heating up for the last 5 minutes. The foil quill foils first and once it's done I remove the foil and go ahead and make the cut. So they are completed now and as always I am so happy with the result. Thank you guys so much for watching, if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you are not following us on Instagram go ahead and do so as I will usually let you know about upcoming videos there. We also have exclusive videos just for our Instagram followers that we won't be uploading to YouTube. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you again in the next video.